Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Freeza Smoke and welcome to another tutorial. Today we are looking at an Obrikwana love song type of a beat. Let's get started. We're gonna start with our chord progression. Uh as always. One day I'm not gonna start with a chord progression and people will be surprised. But you know, I like starting with a chord progression when I create songs. Is either I'm gonna start with my acoustic guitar or a chord progression. And when I get like a, a camera, a proper camera, I'm gonna do tutorials with my acoustic guitar and show you guys how to play. It is I think an acoustic guitar is the most cheapest guitar you can get and start learning how to play an instrument okay so this is the chord progression that we're going for it's a very basic basic idea so i want to show you how to take a very basic idea and really expand it into a song that a beat that is worth of a song you know a beat that is worth lyrics so we're gonna take that chord progression idea that we had and then we add on guitars so i did different um guitar playings on an acoustic guitar and i have three different sort of different sounds did i say different and then different again man i'm saying different way too many times anyway yes we have different acoustic guitar playings basically okay let's start with this one all right that's not a guitar this is the guitar right and it also goes with our chord progression gotta put the chord progression in mind all right and then the other one is this one all right it also goes with a chord progression played it uh, an octave higher i tried to come up with melodies on the very high part of the guitar so there's a play here for like a whole uh, um sort of a loop but i didn't want to use the whole loop but let me play for you the whole loop right i just wanted that part at the end so i just cropped it to just that and that's the other trick with your guitar uh, whether you're using uh, a real acoustic guitar or using a vst acoustic guitar if you want to make it sound realistic you have to try and record two different they sound almost the same but they are different just two separate loops you know playing the same thing the same chords but a little bit differently and then pan it from left to right and it makes a huge difference on the outcome of like your guitar the way it sounds and then after that we have a um, electric guitar so this is a uh, uh, this is like a sample electric guitar a live sample electric guitar from arcade so this is the electric guitar all 
Yeah, so that is the guitar. When you put everything together, it sounds like this. just this sound it plays one note it's just a synth that i put on like a reverb and shit <laughs> that's it really all right let's get into our song we're gonna get into our drums Get into the drums. Right. And then we have the kick here. All right. And then we have an 808. Okay, let's click that. This is an our 808. Nothing crazy, just follows the chord progression. And then we have a shake here. Very simple, basic shake. It's a roomy xylophone from Morphine, which is a VST on FL Studio. So this is the xylophone, sort of like a melody at the end of the verse. It comes in just once at the end of each, actually at the end of each chorus. That's it. And doing that really helps because whenever there's a sound, whenever somebody's listening to a beat, is listening to a beat, and then there's a sound that comes in once in a while, it creates the impression that there's a lot of things going on. You know what I mean? It feels like there's a lot of things going on. If you don't have sounds like this that come in once in a while, it feels... Sometimes it might be a good beat, but it just feels way too straight. There's no changes. Also, that's what happens when you have like a, an electric, uh, electric guitar piece like this. So I have these pieces all chopped up and they play somewhere in the beat at some point. And it makes it feel like there are a lot of things happening. You know, even like this sound right here. You know, it's not necessary. You can omit something like this or you can put it in your song and it will add a little bit of texture and it, it just feels like there's a there's a lot of things, there's a lot of thought process that went into your song rather than just the loop that keeps on repeating again and again and again. So, that's the tip. Tip of the video. If <laughs> this is a tip of a video, just make a little bit of sounds that will come in. It, it doesn't have to be something big. You can come up with like a synth that you can put at the end of your hook or a synth you can put at the beginning of your hook or just somewhere in the middle of your verse. Something that is melodic um, that goes with your song. 
sometimes things like that may be better to add after recording vocals because you know the flow of the vocals that helps also just after you record the vocals then you can play around with like the sounds that you want to add you know sound effects on top of that when somebody maybe is talking about phoning somebody and then you put like a radio uh, or a telephone sort of sound on the background it, it gives it it gives it character and it adds up you know to the whole experience of the song so yeah uh, that's the tutorial that's the whole beat really it's just guitar uh, this is an I think it's an electric piano guitar electric piano and then drums that's it it's a very simple process it has very simple steps but it's all in how you put it together so yes we're gonna play our real beat tell me what you think of this tutorial tell me what you want me to make a tutorial of next and uh thank you for watching and i'll catch you on the next video thank you very much let's play out with our song mm -hmm.